Now, a power struggle between Somalia's top two leaders has escalated. The country's Prime Minister, Mohamed Hussein Robil, has accused President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed of staging a coup. The U.S. State Department has released a statement saying the attempted suspension of Prime Minister Robil is alarming and that the United States supports his efforts for rapid and credible elections. Robel has instructed the country's security forces to take orders directly from him, not the president. His comments come after President Abdullahi Mohammed attempted to suspend him on Monday. The country's leaders have accused each other of intentionally delaying the parliamentary vote. As we know, Mohammed Abdullahi Farmajo is a presidential candidate, no different from other candidates. So I'm telling him, you're a candidate, you should stand aside and compete for the president's seat once again. Thus, the national forces can't take any orders from that candidate, and he can't give them orders that he wants to destroy the government if he can't achieve his own personal interests. Somalia's latest crisis began in February when President Mohammed Abdullahi's four-year term expired. But in April, he signed a law extending his term by two years. That led to an immediate backlash, creating fissures within the military and fighting on the streets of the capital, Mogadishu. Under pressure, the president reversed his decision and, in May, reached an agreement with the opposition for multi-stage presidential elections. That led to an easing of the political crisis. In June, the Prime Minister announced that a roadmap had been agreed to for indirect parliamentary and presidential elections.